Hello guys, I am back welcoming you all with this. Today, again, with the beautiful Mercedes-Benz S-Class. As Mercedes-Benz has sent us this beautiful press car, we can finally test it full detail. So in today's video, I will be doing a full walk around, but just a very fast one as I already did. So you can check it out in the info box above. Afterwards, we will be stepping inside and start the drive with this beautiful S-Class and experience it on the roads, maybe also take it on the German Autobahn. But before we start, let's talk about this kind specific. Here we have the S500. Unfortunately, no more eight cylinder. We have an in-row six cylinder pushing it up to 435 brake horsepower. Plus we have the starter generator supporting the engine with 22 horsepower. As you can see, the beautiful AMG line looking very, very sporty and dominant with this gorgeous front. We have the rear axle steering on that. The exterior paint is onyx black looking awesome. Let's just go ahead and start with a fast walk around and then start the drive. Starting with the front, we have the optional Mercedes-Benz digital light center LED with the three LED torches. We have the front grille here, something I actually hate about this front grille. Do you see that? We have the camera here destroying the entire symmetry again. I don't know why Mercedes is doing that lately because back in the days with the old S-Class, we had it inside the cover popping out as soon as we use the camera. The Mercedes-Benz emblem finished in black, the Mercedes-Benz stuff. Lovely front bumper looking very sporty and beautiful. Talking about the side, we have the long wheelbase S-Class here. Full chrome finish, seamless door handles, but now focusing on the rims. Here we have the 20-inch Mercedes-Benz multi-spoke rims. These are the winter tires for the S-Class for this car in specific. I actually don't like them as we have them literally on every single Mercedes-Benz, the C-Class, the E-Class, etc. But uh, yet again, looking very decent and nice. As I already mentioned, no door handles. As soon as I swipe, they pop out. But as I uh, locked the door now, they moved back in. The rear again, 20 inches multi spokes. Now let's talk about the rear. Here we have the updated rear with the new tail lights, guys. I actually got used to it. Let's just have a closer look. S500 badge over here, all finished in chrome. Uh, we have the new and updated sharp looking tail lights here with the 160 LED pins inside. And we have the diffuser down here. As you can see, we have some real ones here. You can actually see the exhaust pipes. But all in all, decent finish here. Unlocking the doors. We have the door handles popping out. Let's start the drive. So we are now inside the S-Class. Now look at this. Wow, welcoming lights with the ambient lighting, the animations, and also with the new key, guys. This is beautiful. I love the new design of this. Uh, we'll put the key over here inside this compartment. We have a lot of space, two cup holders, the wireless charger, and some more. Close that here. Full finishing piano, not the biggest fan, but still, it's okay. It's actually okay in combination with this display. Starting the engine now and we'll be starting the drive on the autobahn and then we'll do a chill drive i will be talking about the interior and we'll be driving without talk so you can fully experience the unforgettable drive inside the s-class start the engine let's go very quiet start yet again with the nice ambient light animation here put the car into drive the handbrake, we are actually on the Autobahn right now. This is the entrance. We'll be starting here. Let's go. We have the rear axle steering. The car is way more agile in 
uh, at top speeds when driving uh, a bit faster but all in all this car is not meant to be driven that fast in my opinion but still so you can experience it We just left the autobahn. In my opinion, this car is meant to be driven not that fast. It's more for a chill drive. And that's what we are going to do now. We will be setting the cruise control, 70 kph here. And since we have the lane keep assist and the steering assist, we don't need to steer the car at all. We'll do that all on its own. So you see, but it's instantly telling me to put my hands back on the steering wheel you see that and that's what we are going to do now guys this is a very beautiful interior spec full beige finish cream leather interiors guys i love the bright colors in a s class i'm not the biggest fan of a full black interior on the s class uh, in contrast with the beige leather and the wooden trim guys this interior looks 10 times better than the full black leather option as um, this looks perfect from in my opinion all in all we have the long wheel base here 500 model no more v8 we have uh, in row six cylinder 435 brake horsepower the driving is very nice I told you guys that this car drives like an A-Class, but my point was not to tell people that this is comparable to an A-Class. It's not. The only thing I was referring to was the turning cycle of the S-Class. It's so much more shorter. Like it feels like driving an A-Class, but it's not. I was just referring to the turning cycle at that point. And as soon as we approach in traffic light, you see that we have the traffic light camera, the traffic light view. We have the camera here. There we go. And um, as soon as we skip the traffic light, it's showing the normal menu again, which is very, very useful on a daily basis. I love this feature. Let me close the panorama roof, with swiping, so we have a more clear ambient lighting color in the interior. also change the theme of this display we have the sporty one here which looks very cool but since we are driving in an S class I think going ex exclusive or understated is way more fitting you see that it's very nice it also instantly changes the background color and you see that on both displays but if you like it more sporty, this looks very cool. And as soon as we start the 3D, this is very interesting. It, it looks like looking inside a room. Do you see that? As soon as I approach or drive above the lane, you see that? We have the ambient lighting turning red and um, telling me to move back to my lane which is also a very cool feature but let's change that here let's go with exclusive
favorite color is the, the single colored, the full blue one. Or the pink. Ooh, this looks beautiful. Which one do you like the most? Just comment that in the comment section below.